episode of Senior Stories on our Last Word series. Uh, by the way, this is not my backyard. This is my backyard. We are hearing today from uh, a good friend of mine, someone that I've known since he was in elementary. Uh, his name is Drew Collins. He's a senior at Adams High School, and he has left a huge legacy on this church. There are hundreds of kids and students that have been taught by him over the years. Drew, I just want to say thank you for all you've done and, and how you've been a, a part of uh, our church and how you've led and you've served with your abilities. And uh, we're grateful for you. Uh, we're proud of you. We think your future is super bright. What's up, Edge? I am Drew Collins, recording live from Dallas, Texas. Um, and I am a senior in high school, or I'm actually about to be a freshman in college. That's crazy to think about. Uh, I will be attending University of Michigan in the fall, uh, go blue. And for all of you Ohio State fans out there, um, you're not allowed to church anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm just here to give you guys a little bit of advice, tips and tricks that I've learned through high school. And kind of my relationship with Jesus and how it's impacted my high school career. So uh, just to start, quick story about my coming to find Christ. Uh, so in around sixth grade, uh, I was going through a pretty rough rough patch in my life. The summer of sixth grade, it was not a great time for me and my family. I don't want to go into the details, um, but I was not in the best mental place. And then all of a sudden, I went on this mission trip, out, completely out of the blue. I didn't know anybody, but I just decided, hey, I want to give this a shot. I've heard other people like it. So I went on this mission trip to Cincinnati, Ohio, um, and I felt God. Um, it was a long story, and I won't go into all the details right now. Um, but I found God, and it was truly the most revolutionary, or revolutionary moment of my entire life. It changed how I operate, how I think, how I act. And it's just truly altered the way that I, I am and who I am today. Um, so I just want to, I just want to share a couple of tips and tricks that I, I think that you guys might, might get a, get some good use out of throughout high school. So first and foremost, um, mainly when it comes to friendships, who you are and how to be happiest with yourself. Um, this is one thing that I really struggled with freshman and sophomore year. I was, I was somebody who, I was one person around my friends, one person around my family, and then somebody completely different in school. Um, I, I was what everybody defines as fake or two-faced or something like that. And I was so miserable. I was trying to live so many different lives, trying to put on so many different personas, and I was absolutely miserable. Um, so... The first piece of advice I can give you is be you and be genuine. If people don't like you for who you are and your friends don't like you for who you truly are, they're not the right friends. And you will find the right friends. Everybody does. You will always find people who support you and love you for who you are. But be genuine. Be consistent throughout. No matter no matter the situation, always be who you are. Um, second, Make sure that you look inward and upwards for joy instead of looking outwards. I, I have personally struggled with this a lot um, because I used to define, and I still do to a great extent, I define my joy based off of a number in my bank account, how many different clubs I'm involved in, and all these different things that really don't define who you are. What defines who you are is your relationship, your relationship with yourself, um, how much you know who you are, your relationship with God, how much you know, how much the creator of the universe loves you, and your relationship with others. It's how you treat people when you're talking to them and behind their backs, because I'm sure each and every one of you have experienced this at some point in time. What you do behind people's back truly defines who you are and truly defines how good of a friend you are. Nobody likes to be talked bad about behind their back, and I know you specifically don't. And so would you want to be the person who goes around spreading all the rumors behind people's backs? It's, it's never a really good thing. Um, finally, don't be afraid to challenge things. I know, especially in the Christian religion, and I have a lot of Catholic friends and a couple Mormon friends, a Muslim friend, and 
one commonality I find between all these different religions, all these different people, is they believe what they believe purely based off of what their parents believed and what they grew up believing. Um, and I think for me, at a specific point in my life, my relationship with God was completely because my parents wanted me to have one. Don't, don't be that way. If you don't truly believe in your heart that Jesus is real, then I challenge you to challenge that. If you, if you think that God is not real, then challenge it. Look it up, do some research. And if you do believe that God is real too, because even if you have a strong faith, but it's rooted in the wrong things, that's not the right kind of faith. You want to have a, sh a faith that's not completely blind. You want to have a faith that you've done the research. You've looked, you've checked out different things. You've done your research. You challenged the Bible. And I promise you, every time, if you start questioning God, truly, not in a, God, I don't think you're real. Prove to me that you're real. But if you truly go to him with open arms and say, hey, God, I'm struggling with this right now. Could you kind of walk me through it? He will answer and he will show you that he's the one true God. So those are my three pieces of advice. Um, I know you guys are going to do great. It's, it's crazy right now with this corona and I have no clue how your teachers are going to react in the next couple of years. But good luck. Uh, have fun and enjoy your high school years because as a senior who lost half his senior year, you truly... Every, every moment counts. High school is a great experience, and even if you hate it at the moment, it's a really great experience. Don't let it slip away. Um, so yeah, I'm Drew Collins, and see you guys later.